Hello, um, I'm Dr Amanda Sathiapala. I'm one of the respiratory and sleep consultants here at Harefield. Hello, my name is Amna Hoda. I'm the Chief Clinical Physiologist in the Respiratory Physiology Department. The aim of this video is to introduce you to um, CPAP therapy, continuous positive airway pressure. I'm going to refresh your memory about what obstructive sleep apnea syndrome is and why CPAP is useful. Hopefully you will already have been told this by your clinician in clinic. We're going to run through how to assemble the CPAP device and put the mask on. We're going to show you how to troubleshoot problems with your machine or mask so you become comfortable with the equipment and show you how to maintain the machine. We're also going to hear from patients um, about their experience with CPAP and I'm also going to talk to you about notifying the dri driving licence authorities because this is something that patients worry about having to do so I'll run through the details for you. Obstructive sleep apnea syndrome is the most common sleep related condition. Apnea is the medical word for pausing breathing. So this is a condition where you pause breathing during sleep because of an obstruction or blockage. And that blockage is happening in the throat because the muscles in the throat are relaxing and blocking off the airway. This results in the sleep being broken and fragmented and therefore not good quality. And that can result in you feeling unrefreshed when you wake up, waking up with a headache and feeling sleepy during the day or feeling that your mood, memory and concentration aren't as good as they can be. CPAP is a very well established treatment and it's an excellent way to treat the symptoms of sleep apnea. The way that it works is it prevents a blockage in the throat by dispensing air through a mask into the throat, keeping it, the airway open throughout the night.